In this video, I would like to talk about a very common eye condition called blepharitis, or inflammation of the lid margins. It causes grittiness and soreness of the eye, and in severe cases, the lid margins themselves can look red. There are two types of blepharitis. Uh, the most common form is where you have dandruff of the lashes, where you get crusts forming on the base of the lashes, and they can irritate the surface of the eye and cause discomfort. There is another condition called meibomianitis, which is also associated with inflammation of the lid margins. Immediately behind the lash base are openings of glands called meibomian glands, which produce a form of oily tear. Now this oil is a very important component of the tear film because the tear film is mainly water, but the oil floats on the surface of the water and stops it from evaporating and therefore traps it on the surface of the eye and keeps the tears where they should be. So if you have problems with the oily component of the tear film, the water evaporates and the eye can become uncomfortable. And this is another reason why inflammation of the lid margin can contribute to dryness of the eyes. So with meibomianitis, the oily secretions produced by the meibomian glands are a little on the thick side and can block the pores to not allow the secretions to continue to be produced, and that in itself can cause inflammation and can also predispose to the formation of a particular inflammatory lump called a chalazion or meibomian cyst. The treatment of blepharitis is lid hygiene. You need to bathe the lids in order to get rid of the crusts that are forming on the lash base and get rid of these thick oily secretions that are blocking the pores and not allowing the tear film to be as good as it should be. So lid hygiene is very important and the mainstay of treatment. First thing in the morning is the time to perform it and what I would suggest initially is that you get a flannel, put it underneath the hot tap, get it nice and warm, roll it up in the form of a sausage close the eyes and then put the hot flannel up against the closed lids for several minutes. This in itself is quite comforting but what it is also doing is heating up the lid margin and particularly heating up the oily secretions and if you heat up oil you thin it and that facilitates subsequently removing it. Having warmed the lid margins with the hot flannel you then need to bathe the lid margins to get rid of the crusts and the oily secretions. Uh, and there are a variety of ways of doing this. You can get boiled, cooled water, to which you add a few drops of baby shampoo, which is weak shampoo you can use in and around the eye, and get a cotton ball or a cotton bud, dip it in the cooled water, and gently but firmly bathe from the nose towards the ear to get rid of the crusts. If this is a bit time consuming first thing in the morning and you're a busy person, there are proprietary um, treatments available which you can buy from the chemist where you have a ready-made pack of gauze swabs and some weak soapy solution in a bottle and you just squirt the soapy solution on the gauze swab, give it a rub and bathe the lid margin and throw the swab away and you can get these from the chemist. Don't forget however if you're having to bathe the lids in the morning it is also often worthwhile putting in artificial tears as the two as we've mentioned already tend to go side by side. And you can put the artificial teardrops in as frequently as possible, but the mainstay of treatment remains lid hygiene in the morning. Unfortunately with blepharitis, it's very rare that it's completely cured with this treatment. It's primarily to get on top of the symptoms and keep things at bay. And often if you stop performing the lid hygiene, the symptoms come back. In severe cases of blepharitis, there are, other, there are other treatments available, such as antibiotic drops or ointment if you have an infected component, although usually it's not an infection, steroids if there's severe inflammation as drops or ointment, and in very severe cases there is an antibiotic tablet called doxycycline that is sometimes used, but usually in association with people with blepharitis and another condition called acne rosacea.